Good morning. As you can see, I am on trail this morning and I have been just beaming for the last week or so. Welcome everyone. If you're new here, I'm Allie and I'm a little obsessed with hiking and living a wonderful midlife. If you're not new here, you already know that and yay, welcome back. Come with me today as I hike and share a new revelation about midlife I completely did not expect I needed anymore, and that is goals. Let's discuss where they are more important than you would think, and how I'm using goals to reinvent my life at 52. As always, I'll link my complimentary blog post in the description. Be sure to check it out for more details. Last week, here on my YouTube channel, I published a video that garnished me over 20,000 views at this point. You guys, that's viral for me. And I swore I never wanted to go viral, but apparently you have no choice. But, well, no, there is no but. I have just been overwhelmed by the generosity of all of the comments that I got. They're so inspirational and informational and I got really good advice. Um, I couldn't read all of them. Honestly, I am the type of person that will eventually, but I read at least half of them. And I think this morning I looked, I have 298 comments. Oh my goodness. Yeah, some of them are my replies, but only like 20. Just crazy. Thank you guys so much. So for the last four months since the, the breakup, as well as, especially in the last week or so, I have really been racking my brain and doing these deep dives into my life, analyzing my life, you know, just looking into why the hell would I let in a volatile person? And not just that, like, not follow who I truly am during the relationship. I just, it's like I lost my identity. Until this morning, you guys, to tell you the honest truth, I had no clue. I mean, I had some psychological clues, but I needed to know how, what actions should I take to not do that again. <sighs> so like I said, it hit me this morning, but it wasn't me that figured it out. It's a book I'm reading called Life Reimagined by um, Barbara Haggerty. And this is what I was reading. She was interviewing um, the author of a book called Move. And this person, um, trains older athletes, but this is what it said. Childhood and early adulthood have an externally imposed framework. Graduating from school, building a career, marrying and raising children. But at midlife, when the children are leaving and the career is set, the chapters lose their beginning and end points. I need goals. That's what it is. All my life, I've carried goals with me. This was such a revelation. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah, think about it. I had goals in high school to get out of high school, to, to get good grades and go to college. I went to college. My goal then was to get a bachelor's degree. I have a bachelor's degree. Um, my next goal was a career to get married, to have children. 
got those goals. I didn't quite get the career, but you get what I'm talking about. Like I have goals and then, you know, it wasn't a goal to get divorced, but I had a goal after that to travel, to save money and travel. And I meet that, I met that goal. And then honestly, I remember doing this while I was living in my RV and I was like, well, what next? I could go places. Yeah, those aren't really goals to me. I, they don't, they weren't truly goals. I had no more goals once I reached that travel goal and I was 48. So I thought, well, maybe I don't need to create goals anymore. I'm tired of goals. I remember thinking this to myself. Most likely I wrote it in my journal. I'm just gonna live free. No goals. I don't need to work towards anything anymore. And honestly, that is the wrong attitude. At least for me, I need goals. Like goals keep me focused on a prize, actually. They also keep me learning because I have to research certain goals, you know, if, if I need to, like for instance, I used to be a runner. And so I researched, what shoes do I wear? How far should I run? How far should I run when I'm older? I started taking it up in my late thirties and it kept my brain clicking away. We need that at midlife. We need to keep our brains active. Actually, if you work analytically, like on problems and puzzles, where you have to really keep your mind very active on problem solving, it has been proven to keep Alzheimer's at bay. Goals also help me keep structure in my life. That means that I wake up in the morning and I have these like micro goals or mini goals. We should have played a game where how many times do I say goals in this video? <laughs> But every day I wake up going, oh, how am I gonna reach this micro goal to reach my big goal today? And I get so excited. I don't know about you, but I, I, I like reaching for something that I've never accomplished before. And believe me, I've failed. I have failed. You guys, I tried to hike the Colorado Trail. I was out there for, I think two weeks and it was two glorious weeks. I absolutely loved it but the mental game got to me. But you know what? I tried and I didn't reach my goal. I would love to still get out there. Maybe someday one of my goals again will be to finish it. And speaking of finishing a goal, isn't that the best feeling in the world? You go, oh, I accomplished something I didn't think I could do. And then you have this feeling of, of relief sometimes, like, whew, I finished that. Wow, you know, but you're so proud of yourself, aren't you? It feels good. So yeah, at 48, when I had reached my goal to travel, you know, I bought my RV and I was on my way and I kept thinking, what's next? And I thought, I don't need goals anymore. I've reached it, I've reached the epitome. And that was such a wrong attitude to take. It makes perfect sense to me that without goals, I got lazy and I started letting in people that shouldn't be in my life. I started doing things that I normally wouldn't do. Today I'm actually not in Arizona, I'm in Nevada, outside of Laughlin. Actually, this might still be considered Laughlin. And um, it's, I forgot the name of the trail, I always do. And that is a reason to have goals, right? <laughs> Keep your noggin active so that that memory, those memories don't disappear, whether it's your short term or long term gotta keep it working, right? Feels good to get out and hike again. It's something that I absolutely love. I'm still realizing that I need a pathway to something bigger than me. <sighs> love learning. <laughs> so now that I know what type of action I need to take, 
in making goals. I need to look back at the four months, which I have been, and determine what parts, determine what aspects of my life need fixing. And <laughs> last week's video kind of made that blatantly clear, right? I need to really do some psychological work. The other thing I need to do is to become financially independent to start really bringing in a good income. I met a dog. I met a dog. <laughs> oh, I love meeting dogs. There is Laughlin in the distance there and the Colorado River as it winds its way south through Arizona and Nevada. There she is, the Davis Dam. I believe she created Lake Mojave, which is right up there. Above Lake Mojave is Lake Mead. And I'm not sure if there's a dam in between. There she is. As of 9-11, you cannot drive over that dam anymore, but you can walk and ride your bikes. So now that I've determined that I need goals, to move forward in life and to have actually to kind of have purpose. <sighs> now is the big thing. I know I need to fix myself psychologically and financially, but what should my goals be? How should I get them? What else do I need in my life right now? How am I going to accomplish them? Those are the big questions. Next week, I will be back talking about what goals I decided to set for myself and how I'm going to go after them and accomplish them. If you have set goals, that's a really loud boat. <laughs> if you have set goals before, especially in your midlife or beyond and have accomplished them or have not, leave a comment in below. I would love to hear about it. Because believe me, the last video, I got a lot of inspiration and information from you guys. Don't forget if I was helpful today or if you enjoyed this video to definitely please leave a like. And even if you can, a share would be even better. But okay, I'm going to finish my hike. Have an amazing day. I made it. This is the end.